Hey guys, Mr. Backrook here. This is lesson 3.1. In this video, we're going to focus on different angle pairs that are created when we have three intersecting lines. Before we get to talking about those angle pairs, I want to talk about a couple different kinds of lines, uh, specifically lines that don't intersect. There's two kinds of lines that aren't going to intersect. We have parallel lines and we have things that are called skew lines. Now, in my picture, I've got plane T up at the top and plane U down at the bottom. On plane T, there's a couple of lines. We've got line N and line M. Now, those have some red arrows on them, and what that means is that those two lines are going to be parallel to each other, which means they don't intersect. If we've got lines that are coplanar on the same plane and don't intersect, that's what makes them parallel. Now also in this picture we've got this orange line running up and down. Let's give that a name so we can talk about it. Let's call that line K. Now line K is not coplanar with these two lines. It's not on the same plane as N and M. It's going between these two planes, U and T. Now it crosses line M, but it doesn't cross line N. Since it's not coplanar to line N, and since it doesn't cross line N, the name that we would give to it is skew. Along with lines being parallel, like we talked about earlier, planes can also be parallel. So we have plane T and we have plane U. Those things aren't crossing each other, so these planes are also parallel. Now I want to focus on two lines that are contained in the same plane and maybe they intersect, maybe they don't intersect. That part isn't going to be really important right now. All we know is that we've got two lines lying on the same plane. And then let's say there was a third line that crossed through both of our lines. That third line that I just drew in is something called a transversal. And when we draw in a transversal, it creates eight different angles within our picture. Along with those eight different angles that are created, there are some different kinds of angle pairs that are created. The first kind of angle pair that I want to talk about are called corresponding angles. And corresponding angles are angles that are in the same position within their angle groups. So if we looked at angle 1 and angle 5, Within their angle groups, they're each on the top left-hand corner, so we would say that those things are corresponding. But there are more kinds of corresponding angles. 2 and 6 are each in the top right of their angle groups, so those ones are corresponding. Same thing with 3 and 7, and also same thing with angle 4 and angle 8. Okay, All four of those things are called corresponding angle pairs. The next angle pair that we're going to talk about are called alternate interior angles. These are angles that are between our two original lines, but on the opposite sides of the transversal. So if we're looking at our picture, angle 3 and angle 6 are both between our two original lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. One's on the left side, one's on the right side. So angle 3 and angle 6 are an example of alternate interior angles. We've also got angle 4 and angle 5 being between those two lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. Okay, so we've got two pairs of alternate interior angles. Similar to alternate interior angles, we've also got alternate exterior angles. These are angles that are going to be outside of our two original lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. So if we look at angle 1 and angle 8, those are on the outside and on opposite sides of our transversal that we drew in. So that's an example of alternate exterior angles. We've also got angle 2 and angle 7 as an example of alternate exterior angles. Our last kind of angle pair that's created are called consecutive interior angles. These are interior angles, so again, they're going to be between our two lines, but consecutive means that they're on the same side of the transversal. So 3 and 5 are both on the inside, and they're both on the left side of the transversal. So they are an example of consecutive interior angles. We've also got angle 4 and angle 6 
as a consecutive interior pair of angles. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.